here's how you create a plate or a saucer out of clay. So maybe you made a real nice looking teacup or mug and you want to have a little plate that goes underneath it or maybe you just want to make a plate in general. You'll notice that first I've got my hockey puck centered piece of clay a little bit wider and lower. Um, I won't need as much clay to make the size saucer or plate that I'm going to do here. Um, so I'm going to get to it here. So the first thing I'm going to do is kind of press down in the center here. You might have some clay that you take off in the middle. I'm still going to be pulling up the walls just a little bit here. And I'm going to take a little bit of that clay off in the middle. And I want to compress the base a lot here because the more thin the clay, the more likely you are to have an issue with uh, cracking and I really just want to make sure it's very strong so I'm really compressing the bottom a lot here. Press the top edge. And I'm ready to pull the walls a little bit. I'm going to leave them a little bit thicker so that way I can press them out. suck up any water. I like to have a little indent in for my cup, so I'm just going to use a rib tool here to create that. So press in the clay, make a little ridge. The size ridge that you make, you know the size opening here kind of depends on how large the cup is that you're going to be placing in there. A lot of plates will have something like that, so that way they've got uh, you know spot to catch soup or whatever you're putting. Uh, you know, if you've got this underneath the soup bowl or something, right? Then after that, I'm just going to push this down. Could use my fingers for this, or a variety of different tools. cloth here on the edges. Make sure it's nice and smooth. Okay. And I'm gonna, for mine, I'm gonna add a little bit of design. To it. So you can choose what kind of tool you use for that. I'm gonna use the needle tool here. Just kind of put some uh, concentric lines in. Get some water under there. Already starts to, it seems that it's starting to move, so I'm just gonna push it this way a little bit. Keep sliding it until I can get a good hand underneath. Be careful not to touch the rim at all. In there is a plate, sir, or a plate.